What's up, y'all? This is Black Natural Hair Doll, and I'm here to do a hair tutorial on how to do a flexi rod set on natural hair. So as you can see, I started off with dry natural hair, and before I applied my shampoo, what I did was I drenched my hair all around with water. So now I'm just going to rub my What's shampoo up, throughout my palms, and I'm going to rub it throughout my hair. With this hairstyle, you want to make sure that your hair is not dirty. You want to make sure that you really cleanse your hair. Make sure you don't have any product buildup because you want free, bouncy, beautiful curls. So now I'm just making sure that I'm distributing the um, shampoo all throughout my hair, making sure I'm not missing any spots, and then I'm going to turn around and rinse out. Following that, I'm going to come up with my Dove Intensive Repair Conditioner. Y'all, this is one of my favorite conditioners. Um, if you have not watched my video, my product review video, you need to go watch it. I talk more about this um, conditioner. It has really helped me in my natural hair journey at the My Big Chop. And let me tell you, like, I'm telling you, just go try it. Just go try it. So right now, I'm just making sure uh, my hair is coated with conditioner. And then I'm going to let the conditioner... Um, sit in my hair for like three to five minutes like the bottle says and then i'm going to rinse it out after um, it gets done sitting and doing what it does Lip check so i came back y'all i rinsed my conditioner out and the next step we're going to do is a deep conditioner application um what you will need is four clips i have my four duck tail cheetah print clips Yes, y'all. I'm a cheetah fan. I love it. Yeah. And then one thing you're going to need is your deep conditioner of your choice. Right now, I am using a honey and sage um, deep conditioner. It's for four different hair types, so it's just not for one hair type. One thing I like about that. And you're going to also need a water bottle. Um, the water bottle is for like if your hair gets dry in the middle of you doing your application. Um, it's for you to refresh your hair so you can get that slip. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do four sessions with my hair when I do my deep conditioner. So right now my goal is to just session my hair off and get it out the way. When you do deep conditioners, y'all, you need to session your hair off just because, you know, if it's a lot of hair, if you have thicker roots or thicker hair, you want to make sure you get an each hair strand. You don't want to miss a hair strand. So that's the purpose of, you know, um, session it off. And plus it's more cleaner than just, you know, doing it all the way around. So right now, now I am going to spritz my hair down with water. I'm going to dress it down with water and I'm going to make sure that um, it's right where I need it, the dampness I need. And then with the back, y'all, I split it up into two because there's so much hair back there. I don't want to miss um, any hair. So I'm going to divide my four sessions off into two and then I'm going to um, apply my application just like that. So right now, I'm just adding a little bit more water. I'm separating my ends, so that way when I do add my deep conditioner, I will be able to detangle my hair more easily. Now, with this consistency, it's not like a thicker um, deep conditioner that we are used to. It's kind of runny, but it's not too runny. It kind of absorbs into your hair, and um, I kind of like the feeling already. It's giving me moisture vibes like already. So right now, I'm just finishing it off. And I'm just uh, making sure that I get each hair strand. I'm just showing you like how it looks with all the um, deep conditioner on there. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do the other side. So now since I'm done doing the back, we're going up to the front. And y'all, I just realized that I'm taking too much time on this. So I'm just going to hurry up and um, spritz my hair down with water and, you know, be careful, but kind of move a little bit more quickly. So now I'm just going to add my deep conditioner to the top of my hair, just making sure I'm coating my hair with it all. And um, you want to make sure when you do your deep conditioner, please get those edges. Like, y'all, if you have problems with your edges, if you feel like your edges is thinning out or it's balding or it won't grow, if you just having problems, period, please make sure you are moisturizing them edges and deep conditioning those edges because they will, in fact, grow. So now I'm just going to continue to apply my deep conditioner. And then now I'm going to show you guys 
my hair bonnet um dryer thingy i ordered it off amazon i never used this before um that's the name of the brand that i am using currently um i believe i had did a facebook um live video on the first time with me using this but one thing about this is that it has for the dryer it has an adjustable string on there that you could adjust it to your blow dryer so that's one of the pluses of this and right now y'all i'm just trying to figure it out like i never used this before so you have to like bear with me but i do know that i do want to remove my clips from my hair so that way when i do do my deep conditioner i won't um have the clips on my hair i kind of want my hair to be down and it, at its natural fall and uh we're gonna um do it just like that so right now i guess i'm gonna throw this on my head y'all like i'm gonna put this on my head and right now i'm just focusing on tucking all of my hair into this cap and once I tuck all my hair into this cap, then I guess we'll just figure out uh, what we're doing next. But one thing I did notice as I'm putting this and tucking my hair all into this um, cap is that it does have like a string with a ball on there that you can adjust. So on the side, you adjust it to your head. And right now, I'm just trying to make sure that I am comfortable, making sure that... Um, you know that i'm comfortable because i know i'm going to be sitting for a while and i don't want it too tight around the temples and everything so right now i'm just making sure that it's um good to go I'm just waiting to do what it do, and then I'm just going to come back um, after the 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're going to rinse out. So right now, I'm showing you all the hair uh, products that I'm going to be using on this um, hairstyle. Um, most of these products I probably did a review on, some I did not, but um, I will have um, all the products in the description box. You're going to need your clips and your flexi rods of your choice. Um, the size of your choice and um, I also have my cheetah print flexi rods so I'm going to definitely be using those too so I'm coming back y'all and I'm just adding my leave-in conditioner all around my hair making sure it's saturated all around my hair making sure I'm not missing any spots making sure it's blended in really well so that way when I do do my um, curl application I won't have to keep repeating the leave-in conditioner and all that other stuff so right now I have sectioned my hair off and um, I am using my comb to smooth out my hair and I'm using the tension part. So what you want to do is use the tension part of the comb and then once you get this smoothness, you're going to start from the bottom and work your way on up. At least that's what I do just because my hair is naturally curly and I don't want my roots to be too puffy. So I'm starting from the tips and working my way on up. Now with this flexi rod, it actually has like buttons on to clip it to keep it in place so I was just trying to clip the button on just trying to figure out you know to, how to get it on and I eventually got it so I clipped the flexi rod on and I'm going to show you guys how it look so this is how it looks you can tell that it's more slick and so now I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the other side I'm going to show you how I add the product and then I'm going to comb it out to make sure that it's detangled. And I'm going to use the close in the close teeth. So you want to use the um, teeth with the tension, not the ones where you know it has like opening. And so now I'm going to grab my flexi rod, and then I'm just going to wrap my hair around that, starting from the end. And you kind of want to um, do it tight, but you don't want to like wrap your hair around a flexi rod too tight because it can pull your hair in the back and it can cause bumps, and that's not what we want. So you want to make sure you're doing it with tension, but you don't want too much tension where it's just too tight and it's uncomfortable. So right now I'm just going to clip this on up and I'm just going to continue to do this application. As you can see, I've been working my way on up on one side and um, I'm just trying to show you guys um, how I do it on each section of my hair. 
And um, with my session, y'all, you got to be careful on how big you do your sessions because if your sessions are too big and, it's, it's, and if it's bigger than the rod or the roller that you're using, your curls won't come out as good as they should. So you want to make sure you put in the right amount of hair on your um, flexi rods or on your rollers and then you're going to roll your hair up. But with me, I had to do like bigger sessions just because y'all was low on my uh, flexi rods and I was just praying to God I had enough for this video. So I kind of did it like in bigger, a little bigger than I usually do my sessions. So right now I'm starting off with this front and I'm just going to work my way on over. So I'm trying to get my hair out the way and I'm grabbing my comb again with the tension part with the close teeth. And one thing I realized y'all when I was watching this video is that I didn't have a brush, a bristle brush. With tension would be perfect for any curl application if you're doing like a roller set, flexi rod or whatever because it really like um smooths your hair down and get the tension with each hair strand. So right now I'm just using a comb, silly me, and we're just going to see how it looks without using a brush. So I'm praying to God that this flexi um, rod set comes out really, really good. So once again, when you do roll your hair up, you want to make sure that your hair is saturated with product. You want to make sure your hair is wet. Please, please, please make sure your hair is soaking wet. Do not have damp hair. Do not have dry hair, almost wet hair. Make sure your hair is completely drenched with product and completely drenched with water. So right now I'm just, you know, working on the front and I'm moving my way onto the sides and I ran out of my cheetah print um uh, flexi rod so I'm just going to use my purple ones and oh my God, we're going to do so the same cool. technique. Sometimes with these flexi rods it could be kind of <laughs> tricky on which way to turn them or which way to wrap them. So I just kind of go with the flow and see where it wants to lay and make sure that, you know, it's still tight. So right now I completed my flexi rod application. Everything is done and um, I'm just going to chill out and come back and I'm going to put some holding spray on it before I go. So right now I'm using the Pump It Up um, holding spray. I actually like this holding spray just because it don't leave that white residue. Um, at least when I do um, applications like this, it don't. So I really like it and it does give it that hold. And um, I notice when you spray it on while your hair is wet, it don't give you that crunch crunch. So right now, this is the next day. My hair is dry. You can probably tell, huh? So right now, you can see how smooth my hair is wrapped around those rollers. You want to make sure your hair is smooth, y'all. Please make sure if your hair is curly, you want to get those curls out. You want to use a comb with tension and a bristle brush. And you want to make sure that your hair is smooth as possible. So right now... I am taking my hair down. Um, this is the first one I took down. And as you can see, it looks kind of funny. But when you twirl it and when you go the right direction that you rolled your hair, then it will come out, you know, okay. So you can see that my hair looks soft. It looks bouncy. It has that curl. So you want that look, y'all. You want it to be a smooth, sleek look. And you see how shiny my hair is? Let's not forget about that. Like, it's so shiny. It's so bouncy. And once again, you have to just... You know twirl your curls in that direction that you rolled your hair in and it will just bounce back so right now y'all this is just a takedown i'm just taking everything down i'm just going to take all my flexi um rods down and then we're going to get to the break apart so before we break the curls apart we're going to go in with our oil and i'm going to just oil my scalp i'm not going to put it on the hair i'm just going to make sure i um put it on my scalp make sure my scalp is nice and oiled up um this is something new I normally, uh, I just started doing. I normally don't oil my scalp, but um, with this application, I kind of feel like I needed to. So that's what I'm doing right now. So right now, um, we just want to make sure that we get in every spot. And I'm doing the takedown right now. I'm breaking the curls apart. I'm twirling it around my fingers. I'm being very careful. And I'm just making sure that... Um, all the curls are dry. Now, if you take your flexi rod down and you find that your um, hair is not dry, then you can uh, also sit back underneath the dry. Because one thing about wet curls, if they are not completely 100% dry, they won't set right. You will get frizz in a minute and they won't last. So please make sure your hair is completely dry whenever you do take it down. 
So right now, I'm just playing with it for a little bit before I start on the other side just to see what I'm working with. My hair feels so clean, so soft and moisturized. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to break that one apart. Um, yeah, so I'm just breaking that one apart. And I'm going to um, come back and I'm going to do the other side. And right now, I'm just making sure that I didn't miss any. And so right now, y'all, I have completed with taking my hair down. I am just fluffing out my roots. Um, right now, you can see how shiny it is, how bouncy it is. And I'm really liking it, y'all. Let me know what you think about this. Like, let me know if you tried it out and how did it work for you. Um, please make sure that you leave your comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please tell someone about this video. And I shall talk to you later. Bye.